Hi friends, this is Chris with Josephine's Designs. I'm so sorry. Um, the video cut out just as I was reaching for this scripture. So here's our scripture for Monday. It is Romans 8, 28. And this, of course, is a New American Standard. And we know that God causes all things to work together for good uh, to those who love God, to those who are called according to His purpose. And yes, 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 it's just that good. We're going to go there again. So, all right. And now my freebie, and I will put that on the website. Um, uh, or, yeah, I'll make note of that on the website for you guys. Um, after we do our thing on Monday, I load everything. But, um, anyways, so I wanted to show you guys something. So this is something that onions come in. And it's, I, I looked at it and I thought, Ooh, wouldn't that be nice in a junk journal? We pay for lace. We pay for all kinds of things. I washed and washed and washed this. Doesn't smell like onions anymore. And, um, yeah, so I thought that would be really fun to play with. So I'm coming back with this on Monday. I'm coming back with our index cards and our, I'll give you a hint, and our, um, our pretty napkin. So come back with me. Let's play. Um, I'll bring a couple of things in from the journaling kit. And you just have your journaling kit with you, ready to go. Or, and some of you have already cut everything out. Some of you have used almost everything because you are so prolific in your work that you're going to print another whole set and you're going to go again. And that is totally great. That is perfect. So, I just want to give you some hints up. So, for my Memory Dex friends who are like, I can't, I don't want to do the, the other cards. I want to make them from scratch. We're going to do that. So, I am going to have hot Mod Podge with this. You can also just use watered down Elmer's glue. I am going to have one thin layer, the top layer, Mod Podge on here. And I'm just going to take two seconds and show you how that works. Um, for those of you who do not know or have not ever taken apart a napkin, so many of you have, um, you literally, if I had a piece of tape, I've got washi, hold on, I'll pull washi out. So you open up your napkin and you turn it over. And, um, just a second, I'm just grabbing, grabbing me some washi. And I know you're probably going, don't use that washi. I'm sorry, I'm just going to use it real quick, I promise. <laughs> Usually I use scotch tape, and all you do is you want to look and see, okay, I can kind of use all of this. I was thinking I, it had like a white section, but it doesn't. So what I'm going to do is just pull it. The tape will help separate the layers. Oy. Okay, you know when I'm at home by myself, this goes really fast, right? <laughs> Okay, some layers are, some are two-ply, some are three-ply. And then you just gently, gently peel that apart, okay? And I can take that off and I'll still use that. Because, you know, we don't waste anything. <laughs> so, you just pull that apart. And then we'll have that for Monday, okay? So, I'm not going to do all of it. Well, yes, I am. Oh! So all of a sudden, it started really going. It was kind of taking its time there. So now, on Monday, I will just have this portion modge podged, um, however I'm going to lay it on the, on the card. And remember, I have the extra large 4x6, so I'm going to make one and fold it down. It's going to be a pop-up. And, and if you don't know what that looks like, go on the BibleJournalingCamps.com. Um, our dear, sweet friend Tracy has made one. She made a pop-up. So, um, you can look at hers and you can decide, hey, I'm going to give that a try. And even if you're using the TN, you can make a pop-up with a piece of paper and put it in your TN. So, anyways, all right, friends, I'm going to let you go. But I just thought we're going to use something that was free, so to speak. We're going to use something that was very cheap and on sale. And we're going to use something, again, that we're going to recreate to fit our budget and our project. So, okay, friends. Whew. Man, it's a busy day. How about you guys? <laughs> and I leave now, and I haven't eaten, and I was supposed to be somewhere 30 minutes ago. So, but that's okay, because I got to be with you, and that's all that matters. Okay, friends. We will be back together on Monday. And please keep praying that I can get on time, and that things don't happen, and all that kind of good stuff. We, it, it is the simple fact that we have my husband home now, and so... This is the first camp with my husband working at home. And matter of fact, I could hear my daughter talking to him at the back door going, you can't come in. You gotta wait. <laughs> so, 
so and she's been so sweet just waiting in the kitchen for me to finish today so amazing amazing kid so all right guys um i pray your day is blessed creative and lovely no matter what be that christian to be a christian is to be like christ be like jesus go to your garden and pray and just trust God. He's got a plan no matter what you're going through right now. And it may be, we may not be going anywhere. We may just have to bloom where we're planted. And that's what this whole camp is about. And when I look and think of Glorietta, New Mexico Prayer Garden, this picture doesn't even begin to do justice to all the flowers that bloom. It's gorgeous. If I think about it, I'll, I'll um, I don't know where that, I don't know. I was going to say I'd load up my picture, but I don't know where that um, particular uh, SD or CD, I think it's on a CD. Boy, I tell you how long ago it was I took the picture. My picture, this is from the internet. But, um, but bloom where you planted. So when you see this picture online, look at it and think, I need to be a flower. I need to just bloom where I'm planted. So, okay, friends. Love you guys. Praying for you. Pray for each other. And uh, keep it simple. Don't make it hard. Make it what you're able to do and have joy in your journey. This is your camp. Okay? All right, friends. I'll be talking to you soon. Love you. Bye-bye.